Every dog is an atrocity. Humans took a perfectly normal-looking wild animal and created these monstrosities. They tell us that something which looked a lot like this was the original dog. But if dogs weren't around and someone made a wolf look like a chihuahua or a pug, it would be seen as a cruel desecration of nature. It would be akin to mutilation, a Frankensteinian venture, which would be shut down straight away. So why is it acceptable to do this to animals over the course of centuries, millennia, and longer stretches of time? What I just played, that was a clip from a while back. It is still my position, that what has been done to an unfortunate species, now long extinct, is a particularly cruel form of animal abuse. It is a perversion of nature. The reason many of us say that dogs aren't real animals is not because we're suggesting they aren't mammals or whatever. After all, this is the definition of an animal. A living organism that feeds on organic matter, typically having specialized sense organs and nervous system, and able to respond rapidly to stimuli. Obviously, this applies to ourselves as well. However, the differences between ourselves and canines are pretty obvious. But you can easily tell, even just by looking at the two, that a domestic dog and a wolf are not the same at all. Of course, there are hundreds of breeds, and some are far more similar to wolves than other dogs, but they still aren't the same as wolves. I am not talking about genetics. It is irrelevant. After all, and this is just a comparison, we are genetically very similar to chimpanzees and bonobos. However, there is also a very obvious and very glaring difference between ourselves and these wild apes. We recognize it intuitively, that they are not the same thing we are. Even without any understanding of taxonomy, we know that a non-human animal is not another person or a human. The same, of course, applies to dogs. They aren't human. But the main point is that what has been done to dogs, or rather, their proto-dog and wild canine ancestors, is a travesty. Dogs were basically created to serve humans, and this is not how you would treat an organism you respected. Dog owners seldom care about anything besides themselves and the dog or dogs they happen to own. Even those who seem to mindlessly worship the entire subspecies ultimately have self-motivated reasons for actually wanting a dog in their lives. Look at what dog lovers have done to dogs over millennia. An animal that is bound by the food it is given, the leash that it is on, the cage that it is in, and a defecation schedule is so far removed from a friend that the use of the term is tantamount to newspeak. The animal is unlikely to survive without its owner should it be granted free will, and therefore human dependency is its only means. The dog owner seeks to assert this dominant relationship in public, rather than in the privacy of their own home. At face value, it is more akin to ownership for human self-gratification than it is to companionship or friendship. Dogs are man-made and nothing less, a distant relative, by 15,000 years, to a species of wolf long since extinct, that remains as a modern-day eugenics experiment. They are not naturally occurring independent of man, in any way, essentially making the term designer dog a moot, as technically every single one is. Humans have further bred over 300 species of dogs to look, behave, and perform how we want them to, and then judge them according to the look of each specific breed in a way that could be described as no less than xenophobic. All dogs have breed-specific health conditions and disabilities that are byproducts of this custom breeding. Due to body disproportions, bulldogs are near incapable of natural births and require C-sections approximately 80% of the time and approximately half of them experience severe breathing problems. 80% of corgis and dachshunds will have intervertebral disc disease because they have been bred to have backs that their bodies cannot support. Retrievers and Great Dane stomachs can twist to block the esophagus due to the shape of their body, leading to cardiovascular collapse and immediate death. Spaniels are prone to rage syndrome, a form of epilepsy where they attack anything at random, in an unprovoked way. It is not uncommon for pugs to have their eyes dislodged from their sockets because their skulls cannot contain them. Dogs do not naturally evolve to defend against predators or diseases. This is all in the objective, ignorant of the costs, to make something, quote, cuter. In sum, a great deal of dog lovers out there really should not call themselves animal lovers. Many of them only truly care about dogs 
and honestly not even that, in many cases, when you dig deep, 